Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are around the world. Thank you very much for joining us this uh, event again for Airbotics 2021 Go Digital Series. This is the fifth um, edition, fifth webinar that we are hosting uh, on AI and the future of learning. In the past four editions, uh, we have been talking a lot around the different issues and aspects of how AI and robotics can influence our society and influence our business. What's more important in the last two uh, uh, webinar, we talk about the human factor. And today, we have the privilege of working together with Enterprise Ireland to explore the adoption of AI, artificial intelligence, in the space of future of learning. Now, learning is a very interesting piece. At the end of the day, we all learn every day. The question is, how, does, how can we understand better around the science of learning, and more importantly, how technology, particularly AI, can dovetail our learning process and allow us to extend our human potential. This event is organized by APARA, the Asia Pacific Assistive Robotic Association, together with our partner, Constella Limited. We now have the privilege, a very special privilege, of having His Excellency, Mr. Patrick Bond, to join us and uh, to share with us some thoughts that he has from the Irish Embassy. Uh, what's more important that this event is uh, supported by the Irish Embassy, particularly Enterprise Ireland. And we have got speakers from Ireland who has woken up early in the morning. This is like six o'clock, I believe, in the morning. And they've joined us to share with us uh, very interesting updates on the technologies and innovations that Ireland has worked on. So it's going to be a very exciting day. Uh, but before we get into the technical details, I'm going to pass you over to His Excellency, Mr. Patrick Bond, to share with you a couple of words. Your Excellency, please. Thank you, Oliver. A uh, very warm uh, welcome to all of the participants. And thanks to you, Oliver, and to all of the team at APARA and Conseller uh, for this series of seminars in the AI Botics 2021 Go Digital series, especially for organizing today's event on artificial intelligence and the future of learning which has a, a, a focus that I'm very proud of uh, on the Irish contribution in that area. Uh, as you said, and for those who don't know me, my name is Pat Bourne, and I have the honor and the privilege of being Ireland's ambassador, uh, not only to Singapore, but also to the Philippines and Brunei here in the Southeast Asia region. Uh, and as you alluded to, I head a team at Ireland House in Singapore, which includes uh, some very talented people in our state agencies. Uh, and I think some of them are on the line today. IDA Ireland, which has the role of attracting foreign direct investment to Ireland and does a very good job in that regard. And a team from Enterprise Ireland led by Kevin Ryan, which uh, is responsible for growing uh, and developing Irish enterprises and internationalizing them and growing their export uh, and international connections overseas. And again, uh, they're extraordinarily successful in, in the work that they do. And I'm very proud to be the head of their team. Um, my messages today, I suppose, are, are quite simple. The first one is that Ireland is a world leader in education. The second one is that Ireland is a world leader in terms of technology. And the third one is that when you put those together, Ireland is a world leader in terms of education technology or edtech. I've been in Singapore now for three years and I've seen some extraordinary uh, development and progress in terms of Ireland's relationship with Singapore and with Southeast Asia. With Singapore alone, I've seen our two-way trade grow to more than 10 billion Singapore dollars in terms of goods and services. Uh, and there are now more than 100 Irish companies which have operations here in Singapore, uh, not only servicing Singapore, but serving the wider Southeast Asia region and beyond. And there are companies uh, across a whole range of areas, uh, but very much at the cutting edge of the fields and the sectors that they're in, whether it's in technology, life sciences or other areas. And a question that I've often been asked over the three years here, bearing those uh, manifestations of, of our presence in the region in mind, is why has Ireland been so successful? What is it that has brought a country probably more famous in history for uh, its storytellers and its, its rural landscapes uh, to become one of the world uh, leaders in terms of innovation and technology? Uh, and I always say that there are really three reasons for Ireland's success, education, education, and education. Um, from the ninth, I suppose historically Ireland has been associated with education and, and perhaps even some people on the line here would have gone to schools where the, the headmasters or some of the teachers were Irish, uh, whether it's St. Joseph's Institute or the, the Convent of the Holy Infant Jesus in, uh, in Singapore or, or others uh, in Malaysia and elsewhere. Um, but particularly from the 1960s to the 1980s, Ireland invested really significantly 
uh, in developing our education system, in free education at primary school level and secondary school level, and at developing uh, a, a third level sector, which historically had the, the, the great, um, I suppose, centerpiece of Trinity College Dublin, but was underdeveloped uh, more generally. And we developed University College Cork, uh, University College Dublin, NUI Galway, uh, Dublin City University, University of Limerick, and so many other great universities, uh, which are still uh, amongst the world's most popular destinations for international students. And all of this led to Ireland becoming a powerhouse of the computer-driven industrial revolution of the 1980s and 1990s. We were in the right place in the right time with the right skill sets to benefit from, from that change in the world's economy. Uh, and when American companies in particular were looking for bases in Europe and looking for talent pools that they could exploit and use to grow uh, their world impact. And Ireland, as I said, was well able to, uh, to take advantage of that. Uh, today, Irish companies are at the forefront of innovation and digital solutions in a whole range of areas, uh, whether it's uh, online payments, uh, other areas of fintech, regtech, insuretech, you'll find Irish companies are there driving innovation, driving solutions and driving more effective impacts for companies and improvements in people's lives. Um, so it's no surprise really that when you put together a great education system in a country and a great thrust for innovation and technology which is which is in its own way driven by that education system that you get a great uh, ed tech ecosystem developing in ireland and i think it's true to say that in ireland the the the, the human emotional psychological intellectual end of education and the technological curiosity of it are very much linked it is very much a human thirst for knowledge and a human hunger for ways of making everyday lives better that has driven and continues to drive uh, the way in which Ireland, Irish society and Irish companies are trying to utilize artificial intelligence and robotics. Over the last two years, we've all lived through the COVID pandemic uh, and it's changed our lives. Uh, I won't dwell on, on some of the more negative uh, and, and, and depressing aspects of it, uh, but it has certainly transformed uh, everything we do uh, on an everyday basis because of the, the digitalization, because of the desire for, for low touch environments, because of the kind of innovation uh, and trends that it has accelerated. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's affected us in all walks of life, I think, and particularly the digitalization. Over the last two years, we have all been using apps to a much greater extent than we ever had before. Two years ago, I, I had never scanned a QR code in my life. Now I'm doing it many times every day. Uh, we are using more online services. We are doing more uh, online purchases. We are using contactless payments. Uh, we, we are um, in interacting with, with facial recognition and a, a whole lot of, um, uh, of, of, of a very clever, very smart piece of technology that we don't even see, we don't even recognize that they exist. Uh, in education, we have also seen uh, dramatic changes over the last two years. In every country on the planet, Schools and education systems have been forced to pivot, to move uh, from in-class uh, engagement to hybrid or flexible or home-based learning. Um, and that, of course, has, has transformed it right from, from preschool through secondary school to universities to postgraduate levels and beyond. There have, of course, been downsides, um, and um, you know, uh, the, we, we've all we're all aware of the socialization problems, of the isolation problems, uh, and perhaps even of mental health issues, which which may not surface or be uh, recognised, or the consequences of them for many years to come. Uh, but there have been real benefits too. Uh, one example is in the the less formal education sector, the lifelong learning sector, where people who, I suppose, never thought they would have access to, to third level education uh, are now able to because of the way in which universities right across the world have put their content, have put their courses online. My own wife here in Singapore, at, at a time of her choosing, in the evening, on a weekday, is able to sit on the couch with her legs tucked under her, uh, taking a course in, in Trinity College Dublin. A friend of mine in Ireland, who's blind, uh, wrote to me recently and said how proud she was that she was attending lectures at Harvard. I mean, these are extraordinary uh, opportunities. And uh, we live in a situation where time zones, distance, age, poverty, and even disability uh, have become less and less in terms of barriers to access to education. There have also been very general and very practical benefits in a whole range of areas. Uh, again, the, the, the way in which um, universities and schools have been uh, found it necessary to put so many uh, online resources, uh, recorded lectures, 
uh, online, make notes available in a way that's never happened before. Uh, and unlike when I went to university, uh, the, the days when uh, students uh, were forced or had the dilemma of having to, to choose between courses because they were on at the same time or because lectures were clashing uh, is now a thing of the past. We all, I think, have seen how this has been enabled uh, by platforms such as Zoom, uh, AirMeet uh, that we're, we're meeting on today, uh, Microsoft Teams and, and so many others that are, that are very visible and, and, and whose names and terms have become part now of our everyday vocabulary, everyday lexicon. But behind the scenes, there are other less visible, but no less important components, elements, pieces of software uh, that are making these tools better every day, that are improving the way we learn, improving the way we communicate. And I'm very proud uh, that there are Irish companies uh, driving this uh, in, in, in a very important way and, and that Ireland is really punching above its weight when it comes to playing a role in this, this new, uh, I suppose, technological revolution. Um, so today we're going to focus on obviously artificial intelligence, robotics and the future of learning. But I think as we go through the, the, the day, you'll see that the, the, the software, the technologies that are being developed by these Irish companies and uh, the paradigms, I suppose, which they're interacting uh, have a great deal of potential scope and application for application in a whole range of other areas, not just education, but in all, uh, in all walks of life. Uh, so I'm delighted uh, that we have uh, the opportunity to showcase some Irish companies and institutions that are, are great examples of, of leading edge uh, innovation uh, in these areas. Um, we have, uh, I think, first up uh, in, in terms of the companies is Seats, uh, an Irish company which has developed some really smart technology to manage hybrid and flexible uh, learning, learning uh, experiences and sessions. Uh, their uh, vision is about enhancing student success. And I think that's a, that's a wonderful uh, aim and a wonderful goal and a great aspiration. Uh, we also have a company called uh, Tigum, uh, which of course is an Irish word or Irish phrase that means I understand. Uh, although for my own student days, I think I was more uh, probably commonly known for using the uh, the opposite of it, which is nihigum, which means I don't understand. Uh, but that says more about me. Uh, but their wonderful uh, vision is communications across cultures without barriers. Uh, and they are trying to uh, uh, develop and optimize the use of behavioral and linguistic analytics uh, to really break down the borders uh, that, 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 that give rise to miscommunications between people of different cultures, different backgrounds, different languages. And when I read about them or, or look at their website, uh, I keep thinking of, of, of that wonderful organization, Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders, and how they, in many ways, in a learning and communications uh, uh, sphere, uh, are, are trying to achieve communication sans frontières, uh, communications without borders, which I think, again, is a, is a wonderful aspiration. Uh, the third company that we'll be uh, showcasing today is Soapbox, uh, an Irish company which um, uh, utilizes uh, advanced speech recognition uh, technology to, to provide um, what they call voice-enabled experiences for younger kids. And they, um, they claim and they, they, they can deliver very high accuracy for kids uh, of, of two, two years to 12 years uh, across all accents and dialogue, dialects, they say, which I think is very impressive. I'm really looking forward to, to learning more about their products and services. I wonder, will they accept the challenges of trying to, uh, to make comprehensive, uh, comprehensible language out of the grunts that teenagers produce? Uh, but again, that probably says more about me and my experience as a parent uh, than is relevant to today's session. So maybe maybe for another day. Um, the scene and the context is going to be set by uh, some really impressive people uh, from the uh, broader perspective, I suppose, of industry and academia. Uh, Nessa McAniff, who is uh, uh, the leader of the Learnovate Centre at Trinity College Dublin, one of those absolutely top Irish universities that I mentioned earlier uh, with uh, more than two decades of experience uh, in exploring uh, new trends and new developments uh, in the world of education and its, its nexus with technology. Uh, and she will be, will be looking at the wonderfully interesting and provocative topic of what does the future of learning look like and what is the role of artificial intelligence uh, in that context. And we will also, from this neighborhood here in Southeast Asia, hear a presentation from Associate Professor uh, Said of the Universitas Jambi uh, in Indonesia, who will uh, share with us the findings of a survey that he has conducted on changes in education expectations in Indonesia and the Southeast Asia region. So I think we've got a really great package today of the 
uh, the, 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 the view uh, of, of education in Southeast Asia, the, the overview of uh, global developments in education and AI, and then some really uh, exciting and innovative examples of where Irish companies are, are taking uh, that in a very, very practical way. Afterwards, I know there'll be opportunities for all of the participants to engage one-on-one -on -one with the Irish company representatives, and I would really encourage you to take advantage uh, of those opportunities. Uh, I hope everyone has a really um, uh, eventful and, and a useful uh, and, a, and a productive day, uh, and I look forward to participating as the afternoon goes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. That's a very, very powerful message, and in fact, that certainly set the stage for us to look forward to a lot more discussion with uh, your team. And uh, I, I like the idea of how AI as a technology can be deployed to assist the learning process. So certainly looking forward to understanding and learning more from the Irish team. Thank you very much.